one week to fall in love with you and just just a few more days to know I wanted to marry you. From the moment we met, I never felt like I had to hide any part of who I am. There was never that uneasy feeling that comes with meeting someone new. It sounds really cliche, but it was like I'd known you forever. And you, you're the perfect match that I wasn't looking for. Miranda, you are so beautiful, so very intelligent, and so much fun to be with. I know that in life there's going to be a lot of ups and downs, but I also know that I couldn't have chosen a better partner to face that journey with than you. I vow to love you through the good times and the bad, to support your dreams and aspirations unrelentingly, and to never stop striving to be the husband you deserve. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. Still no nerves yet. I mean, a little anxious. I, I was, I got, I got anxious about, you know, just hoping everything could go all right. Hurry guys, do something funny. Don't mess up Far too often, the way we talk about love makes us think it's just an emotion. But these words that Paul uses, patience, kindness, these are choices. There will never be enough words to tell you how happy you make me and how much I love you, but I promise I'll never stop trying to find them. Now that Andy and Miranda have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, the exchange of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the, and of the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, let no one separate. Andy, you can kiss your wife. to introduce to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Andy and Miranda Blankenship. <laughs>